In three to five years, medical marijuana could become a billion dollar industry in Ohio. But those businesses could be stuck dealing with cash if local banks don't start changing their policies. What are you going to do? Put it in a mattress or in the shoebox? It's a burning question. An industry rich with potential, but nowhere to put the money. It kind of blindsided us when we weren't able to use our bank accounts. The National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws is a nonprofit that's been around for nearly 50 years. But this summer, Normal's PNC account was canceled. Well, they just always uh, reserve the right to you know, terminate anyone's account for any reasons. In a statement, PNC said they don't comment on customer accounts, but why the change of heart? It's our suspicion that there was some guidance uh, from federal and probably state banking regulators. And businesses with titles that include marijuana and cannabis are now considered too risky. So medical marijuana accounts are being dropped. What these companies have to do is they have to lie. And most are found out, leaving startup businesses that have to deal exclusively with cash. Keeping us in the shadows, that's the black market. Industry experts worry that keeping thousands of dollars worth of cash on hand It makes absolutely no sense to me could be a recipe for crime. All of these medical marijuana enterprises are going to be uh, targets for theft because the bad guys are going to know that there's lots of cash in these uh, businesses. Legal experts tell me they hope local banks will start warming up to medical marijuana clients like they have in other states. In Cleveland, for the E-Team, I'm Megan Hickey. Well, let's get back to that.